In this XTNGO quick start video in real time, we will be loading some data, look at it in 3D and create some graphs and statistics, all in three minutes, and pick up a few handy tips along the way. To load data, right click the data component, select add data, then pick a data type and data format and select the file. Select data columns to import and make sure they are mapped to the right column type. Use Ctrl R to repeat and Ctrl Shift R to repeat until the end of the table. If you make a mistake, use undo and redo. Anywhere in the program, press F1 to get detailed context sensitive help. Click the load data button to load the data. Use the load summary page to make sure the data has loaded OK and to do some first step data validation. Next look at the data in 3D. The color tab is the go-to property page and allows you to see the contents of each object by moving the mouse in the 3D window. Color the data by clicking on the data column and filter the data by clicking on one or more entries in the color key table. Double click a data column to edit the color key. Now let's look at some statistics and graphs by using the system supplied histogram graph template. Right click the data component and select add template and select the histogram graph. The delay is caused by the statistics that get automatically calculated. The red marker in the top left corner indicates that you have to find columns to display. Select the data column in a column picker table to show your first graph. Click other data columns to update the histogram graph. You will notice that the stats of the data columns get highlighted in the stats table. Right click the stats table to copy it for example to a word table. Select multiple data columns by using the control or shift keys. Press control A to show all. Double click one or more plots to zoom in and use the cursor key to scroll through them in detail. Scale a plot by dragging the X or Y axis. And double click the axis to see all of it. Press escape to show all plots again and let's apply some data filters. Press Ctrl A to select all graphs. Go to the color property page. Click on the domain column. Then select one or more domains from the domain color key. And see more of the graphs by hiding the stats table the column picker table and the status windows. This video has given you a first glimpse of how X10Geo allows you to quickly load your data, create some useful graphs and statistics and appreciate your data in 3D. Please use the context sensitive help and the other tutorials for more detailed information. Thank you for your interest in X10Geo.